Hello everyone, welcome to Skins Showcase. A little delayed, but life gets in the way. Sometimes unimportant things have to get pushed off. But at least I'm here anyway, plowing over the dispatcher. Uh, today, first up, comes from Dream Whips. This is something he showed me last month, actually. And to be quite honest, I just forgot all about it. Uh, but here it is right now. This is for the K108. The Kenworth 108, which is an RTA mod, which has been set free, and I believe a link for it is still in the description or uh, the, the mods list, which can be found in the description. The link for that. Uh, this is the Bobbins Transport Skin Pack. It it's two separate files, one for the tractor, one for the trailer, and this was a request by Mad Trucker, and so he whipped it up, and it looks pretty damn nice. I don't know anything about Air, uh, Arizona, Australian companies, so uh, hopefully this is true to form. Now, I probably am not true to form here with the tire selection. Uh, it comes with the stock, what looks like Kenworth tires, and con or Kenworth rims and Continental tires. And when I went and put a different rim on there, like these Alcoa heavy rims, the option for the original rims disappeared. So that would mean in order to get them back, you were, you're going to have to back out and start all over with your accessories. But uh, I decided not to do that. I think they look pretty damn nice. Yeah, that works for me. But uh, also, the trailer here is an RTA trailer. It has been set free as well, and that is also available on mod sites as well. Uh, I will have links to all of these items, except for the tires. Uh, you guys have already seen those, and they're in the Steam Workshop. But I will have links for all of these uh, available for you guys to download. So check the description. The skins for the truck and trailer are available in the, mod, in the uh, Steam Workshop. And I think the trailer is not. I'll have to double check that. It, it's been a while since I downloaded it, but we're going to be sitting here for the next half hour waiting on traffic. I have no traffic mods. I have no map mods. <laughs> so I have no idea why it gets this bad. I'm half tempted to turn traffic off, but then that'd yeah, be kind of boring. All right, here we go. Oh, there's a car way down there. He's probably going to wait for him. Now, I have to reacquaint myself with driving with a cab over because it drives differently than a conventional. So hopefully I don't tear into too many things. Now, although also... You see it says refrigerated transport, but today we're transporting just used packaging. It's what came up in the load list, and now when you also get this, the nice thing about being able to choose your trailers, that's what I was able to do here. Uh, the, I didn't see it come up in the freight list, so I was able to pick a load with this trailer, and turn that off. Uh, 
I was able to cycle through all the skins. Now, the, tra the trailer itself comes with quite a few skins. This is a European trailer, after all. Uh, so, if you want to haul something that's a European company, you're able to. But, that was how I was able to get this one to pop up, because it didn't show up in the freight market. So, uh, nice that we still have that feature. Uh, it was very but a great idea, actually, for SDS to put that in there so we could change out. Not just the trailer itself, you know, if you don't want to haul a shorty, a pup trailer, you can haul a regular one. But also, giving us the option for, uh, you know, changing up the companies. Also, one other thing, this is, I think, the newer version of the k 108 I wasn't finding the stack option. There's only two options for stack, straight stack or curve like you see here. But in order to get to it, being over here on the on the driver's side, it wasn't showing up. So I'm I'm going around, I'm going around in circles and finally I come over here to this side right about here and the stack option shows up. So keep that in mind. It's not just with this model, every model that has a lot of options like this one does. There are going to be occasions where the option bubble does not show up. Not on every model, actually, but uh, I think the Peterbilt 389, uh, either Viper or Tam, I don't know which one, maybe both, you know, there's uh, that happens. Like with the mirrors for those trucks, uh, you have to be on a certain side for that, you know, so... If you're not seeing something, make sure you guys, you know, before you click OK or confirm, Make sure you do a nice slow rotation of the truck to make sure you've caught all the option bobbles on, uh, you didn't miss anything. So that's what happened here. It's not the first time. Ah, we came to a rolling stop. I don't weigh that much, do I? This thing is just really, whoa, yes I do. 123,000 pounds. No wonder I'm bogging out in first. The hell went on there? I guess they can haul more in Australia. I don't know. If you want a heavy load, I guess you go and get this uh, maxi cube, and there you go. That's a lot of freaking cardboard. But a Cat C15, 500 horsepower is what's underneath my seat right now on this truck, so has no issue pulling it. But there we are, parked. All finished with this one. Time to move on to the next one. What is going on everyone? Welcome to skin number two. This one comes to us from Clunk. 
This is his SCS 389, red, white, and black. Yet again, another simple looking paint job. Very clean, very nice. I love these paint jobs. Not a whole lot going on there, but still looking classy and looking very, very nice and tidy. I, uh, yeah, I don't think I can say enough how much I love these paint jobs. Uh, especially like that green one that I was using. I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but that one is also gonna be making an appearance here soon on another video because he has released that one for the SCS version of the 389. Also, the trailer here, it's a standalone trailer. It comes from Austin 1997 Connor. Uh, this is one of another, there's actually three total Amazon Prime trailers on the workshop. This is the newest one. Uh, the other one comes from Yu Chen, I think it was, and it's all black one. But this one here looks like it's based off a stock SCS trailer, 48 foot reefer on it, but it's just hauling packaging today, going right around the corner here to uh, rail export. Oh, I'm gonna hit the brakes on that one. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, really, I, I I'm kind of speechless on this one. It's just damn, it looks good. Simple, clean lines. I like the colors. Very classy. Also using Viper's Alcoa rim pack that he pulled off his 389 to put on here. So if you guys are not a fan of, for whatever the reason, Viper or Tam's 389, but you want the rims, or maybe it causes you, causes you frame rate issues. I know that happens with a lot of people. Uh, you can go ahead and hit the Steam Workshop, and the rims are there for you to go ahead and use to your heart's content. No, I don't want to turn there. I will break. There we go. I was about to turn there, but no, I don't want to because I realize that I'll just go around in a circle. Yeah, that's perfect with that paint. Now, one thing I have to investigate is why I'm not able to get horns on top of the cab. Uh, not sure what is causing that issue. Maybe it was not an option for... I don't... Well, no, it is an option. I should be able to have horns on the roof, but for some reason, I'm not. So, I'll have to look into that one. I do have a couple of trucks still activated in the mods list, so maybe I will deactivate those. And uh, hopefully I get them back. Sometimes, you know, mods do cause issues like that. Um, when the new update came out here for ATS, uh, there was issues with the TAM uh, 389 causing the horns to show up in red. You know, no texture. Uh, so, I do not have the TAM or the Viper 389. Oh, I might have the Viper 389 activated. I don't know. I shouldn't. But, I'll have to check into that. But, yeah, it, it, there was that issue, so... You know, things happen, causes issues, and I don't know why I'm waiting. I can just go ahead and go. Cummins ISX 550 is what was already stock on the truck when I was selecting all the option parts, so I decided to go ahead and leave it that way. Just a little bit off, huh? I 
Now also keep it, this skin here, he has it in the description saying that it works with all cab versions. So regardless of whatever you want, the big sleeper or this one or day cab, you're set to go. So with that being said, time to drop this one off and move on to the final one. Oh, stopped a little too short on that one. What's going on, everyone? Skin number three comes to us from EVR. This is his The Seducer skin. Beautiful purple. I think purple is his favorite color. This is, what, the second or third skin he's come out with with this color. And this coincides with the whole uh, wild look I like to go with sometimes. I usually pick one truck and one skin that really... You know, promotes that look, and this one here, I think, really does it. Tries to get the whole sexiness look here. These special fenders, the stretch chassis. Uh, got the, the colored hubcaps on here with the spokes. But he's gone all out making sure whatever you want to do, you can have done. I've got the painted white bumper on here. I think it's the American Eagle, if I remember correctly. And uh, this one here, it fits the Vipers and Tam Edition 389, 63-inch high-roof sleeper only. And as you can see, it also has miscellaneous painted parts. So, this one here is Vipers. I had this one already activated, so I ran with it. Uh, as you can see, also, I have the LED light pack, which I know many of you have already asked me about. And I'm going to have to jump all the way over here. All right, we made it. Uh, all I have, I, you guys have been asking about that one, and it should still be good to go in my mods list. So make sure you check that out in the description there. Uh, it's the LED Light Pack 1.2. I think there's a newer version out. I'm gonna check on that. So give me a little bit of time here, uh, you know, a few days, whatever, and so I can contact some people and see if it is updated. But because it would be nice if we could have it on a 389 SCS. Uh, version but uh, yeah it doesn't work yet but anyway yeah I've got the headache rack on here and hauling some lumber and I'm going the wrong way beautiful well I guess I can just take it right here and just make one big circle part of the upscale here Oxnard I think got bigger I'm not usually over in this area single player or on multiplayer Five low helps if I uh, drop it down a gear. This is definitely show truck 
look right here. Not something you would see as a daily driver like so many other ones I might have uh, shown off in the past. This one here is definitely a show truck, especially with this uh, painting on the side here. One other thing though, the chassis insert here, the plate that goes down the center of the chassis, it is just chrome on this one. The painted version is white. I didn't really think that went well with the rest of the chassis here, so decided to stick with the chrome. Uh, headache racks don't have any special paint, but as you can see, the big 8-inch stacks here, paint on those, paint on the, the tank, paint on the step, so everything else stays purple. Now, you are able to change the color. Uh, I was tweaking uh, when I checked this when I was putting this on there were the three boxes at the top And you are able to change the color of the purple as well as the metallic flake uh, In the purple the whole truck is metallic in certain angles. Maybe I can get it here You will see the purple flake kind of in the white But uh, you know if you wanted to change it from purple to whatever you want go right ahead You can also change the reflection of the color as well uh, I decided to leave it as stock purple. I think that one looks pretty damn nice. I really can't picture it with anything else, like yellow. Well, yellow could work. Uh, green, or yeah, I guess green or orange or yellow could work. But, uh, you know, you guys can go ahead and download this one and, uh, you know, customize it to your tastes. I don't know. I would assume all the painted accessories would match whatever you select for your bottom color. So, uh, go ahead and give that a shot. Or you can just leave it as chrome, but I don't think this truck is going to look too great with all a lot of chrome on it. You kind of want to leave it clean and flash, you know, not too flashy. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, I really don't have a whole lot of lights on this one. I've got it on the tank panel down there and a the three on the on the front. Uh, not exactly uh, DOT legal, I think, but uh, screw them. Fuck them if they can't take a joke, right? But uh, other than that, I don't even have the side markers on the cab. So it's just the air, the, uh, air intake. Uh, yeah, just the air intake markers, the lights there, and uh, the custom rear bumper, along with the fenders, and uh, yeah, that, that was pretty much it. I wanted to keep this a little bit quiet, uh, not as bright and flashy. I can really see this on a W900, though. I mean, hell, even at some angles, I've even caught myself wondering if it is a W900, and then I get a better look at the front of the nose, because I've painted the nose. So then I get a better look at the front of the nose, and... Nope, that's a 389. Yeah, this section of road here, we're all good now. I'm on track, but this section of road here, I don't think I've been down. So time for me to shut up for a little bit and just enjoy the view and enjoy the cruise with this truck and how it looks.
alrighty, as I pull up the John Deere here, remember, check the description, guys. All three of the paint skins that you have seen here, grind them if you can't find them. Uh, all three of the paint skins here will be in the description, as always. Uh, also, the uh, links for the K100, or I'm sorry, K108, the Kenworth K108, uh, as well as the Max Cube or Maxi Cube from RTA. Both of them are RTA uh, items and have been publicly posted, so you know, no longer needing to share them as I skid those tires on the trailer there. The, uh, they are both free to download now, so be sure to check out the description for the links on those trucks if you wish. Uh, this K108 here is a newer version. I don't know off the top of my head how new, but uh, I believe it's probably December. Uh, I have to double check, but if you guys have that truck, you know, wouldn't hurt to go ahead and make sure you get the newest version. Also, as you see, I do have the air horns on the top of the cab here. I mentioned on the last skin that uh, I was having an issue. They weren't showing up anymore. So in between clips here, I did go into the mods manager and remove a handful of trucks. And now they are here. So good to go on that one. So there must be another truck that kind of takes it over or eliminates them for whatever the reason. But there we go. Nicely parked. That is going to be it for now, guys. Drop this off and call it a day. So I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next trip. Until then, take it easy.